Hello everyone. Welcome back to this lecture series on complex analysis. Today we are going to talk about Taylor's and Lorentz series expansions. Taylor's theorem. Suppose that a function f z is analytic throughout a disk z minus z naught less than r naught, centered at z naught with radius r naught. Then for all z inside the disk, f z has the power series representation given by this. Okay, so here uh, say given that function is analyte analytic throughout a disk, and disk is uh, z minus z naught less than r naught. That means disk is centered at z naught and radius of r naught. So there is a say this disk c. Which is uh, centered at z naught and radius r naught, and uh, let z be any point inside this disk. Then, because the function is analytic throughout this, then uh, the function f z can be written in a power series about z naught, and this power series is given by this infinite series. And see here that z minus z naught power k. So when k is zero, the first term is one. Here this k is the kth derivative. So when k is zero, the zero derivative derivative means the function at z naught itself divided by zero factorial, which is one. The first term of the series is nothing but f function value at z naught plus when k is one, it is first derivative z naught over one factorial into z minus z naught power one. When k is two, it is second derivative at z naught by two factorial z minus z naught square and plus so on. It's a sum infinite series. So this expansion is about the point z naught, which is the center of this disk, and r naught is the radius, and it is called the radius of convergence. So if we uh, expand this uh, right hand side, then this can be written as that function is equal to f of z naught plus the first derivative at z naught by one factorial z minus z naught plus second derivative at z naught divided by two factorial z minus z naught square plus so on nth derivative at z naught by n factorial z minus z naught power n plus so on up to infinite terms. Okay. So you can see that. Uh, uh, when function is analytic and function is given, then uh, the function value at z naught and its derivatives at z naught we can calculate, and so this will be a infinite series in power of z minus z naught. Okay, so we are uh, uh, whenever you are given a disk, we are going to expand the series in power of z minus z naught. Okay. And uh, second thing is that if uh, this uh, uh, center z naught is at origin, if z naught is zero, then we call this series as uh, Maclaurin series. Okay, so in that case, uh, f z when z naught is zero, this right hand side becomes f zero plus f dash zero into z plus second derivative at zero by two factorial z square plus so on. So you can see that now series is in power of z. Okay, because the center is zero now. Okay. So we are going to prove this theorem, and uh, for proof, uh, uh, say first consider this disk C with center at z naught and radius r naught, and uh, let z be any point inside this disk. Okay, then uh, uh, construct a circle C one with center at z naught and uh, uh, and closing this point z. Okay. And let T be any point on uh, the circle C1. Okay. So now you can uh, immediately see that the distance this from Z to Z naught is smaller than this distance which is from T to Z naught. This is because Z, Z is a point which is inside the circle and t is a point on the circle so this different distance is definitely smaller than this distance so we can immediately write this equation that uh, 
the distance of z from z0 is less than distance of t from z0 okay and if we divide with this right hand term here then this ratio must be less than 1 okay uh, now consider this uh, uh, 1 by t minus z and this 1 by t minus z if we subtract and add z0 to this so we can write it as t minus z0 minus z plus z0 in the denominator and uh, so if we take t minus z0 outside common from here then uh, t minus z0 goes outside and this becomes 1 minus z minus z0 by t minus z0 so this fraction can be easily written as this okay? so this uh, second term we can take it to numerator so it will be this whole power minus 1 so 1 by t minus z0 and this uh, second term it goes to numerator with whole power minus 1 and because uh, this is of the form 1 minus x whole inverse where this x this term is strictly less than 1 okay modulus of this is less than 1 so we can apply binomial okay so you remember binomial that if you have 1 minus s whole inverse with modulus of s less than 1 so modulus of this quantity less than 1 then this has an infinite series representation as 1 plus s plus s square plus s cube plus so on plus s power n plus so on okay so similarly here 1 minus z minus z naught over t minus z naught whole inverse and z minus z naught over t minus t naught its modulus is less than 1 okay so it acts as s here and so we can apply binomial and expand it in infinite series as 1 plus first term plus square of it plus cube of it and so on okay so we can easily write this 1 by t minus z naught outside and uh, this quantity becomes 1 plus z minus z naught over t minus z naught then its square plus its cube plus so on plus nth power plus so on infinite series right so we can multiply this 1 by t minus z naught inside to uh, rewrite this okay so uh, we we obtain this uh, result that 1 over t minus z equals this right hand side infinite series now if we multiply both sides with 1 by 2 pi i f of t okay and integrate term by term with respect to t then uh, because t is a point on the circle c1 the integration is over the contour c1 or circle c1 so uh, we can write the left hand side as 1 by 2 pi i ft is multiplied here so ft over t minus z dt and integral over c1 and equals to uh, this will be multiplied with the first term so 1 by 2 pi i ft over t minus z naught integral over c1 similarly this will be multiplied with the second term and because we are integrating with t so z minus z naught can be placed outside by 2 pi i integral f t over t minus z naught square dt plus so on z minus z naught power n placed outside by 2 pi i integral of f t over this t minus z naught n plus 1 dt so okay now uh, because uh, this you remember if uh, the Cauchy integral formula okay then uh, because the function is analytic at every point inside c1 then this left hand side is by Cauchy integral formula this uh, this integrand is analytic everywhere except at t is equal to z so we can write the result as function value at z and so it becomes f of z similarly this integral it is analytic integrand is analytic everywhere except at t is equal to z naught so this integral value is function value at z naught plus z minus z naught by 2 pi i into this integral and because the function is analytic everywhere except at t is equal to z naught where t minus z naught whole square so t is equal to z naught is a singularity of power 2 so we have to apply Cauchy integral formulas extension so it will be first derivative of function at z naught okay, by 1 factorial so that's this value with z minus z naught plus so on again uh, t, minus t is equal to z naught is a singularity of higher order so we have to apply Cauchy integral formulas extension so it will be uh, 2 pi i by 
n factorial and nth derivative at z node okay so we have got n factorial and nth derivative at z node z minus z node power n is already there n plus so on so this is taylor series expansion that we have now proved okay so we'll let take some examples here so first example is that uh, expand the function cosine z in taylor series about z is equal to pi by 4 okay so when we say we have to expand about z is equal to pi by 4 that means uh, we are going to expand about a point z is equal to z naught and z naught is the point pi by 4 so we'll expand this in powers of z minus pi by 4 series and uh, the function is cos z and cos z is an entire function so it is analytic everywhere so obviously it is analytic at any point inside some circle centered at pi by 4 okay so uh, just to rewrite this and if we remember taylor series expansion it is fz which is f of z naught plus derivative of function at z naught by 1 factorial into z minus z naught plus so on this we are now z naught is pi by 4 okay so we can calculate the function value at pi by 4 function is cos z so cos value at pi by 4 so if function is cos z we can find f value at pi by 4 and easily we can write the result similarly the derivative is known first derivative of cos is minus of sine so derivative of function is minus sign so we can calculate this value at pi by 4 so again we have this value minus of 1 by root 2 similarly we can calculate second derivative third derivative four derivative and so on and we can calculate the value at pi by 4 okay. and then we can substitute all these values on the right hand side and we can represent the infinite series fz is cos z so cos z can be written as 1 by root 2 1 minus z minus pi by 4 minus half z minus pi by 4 square plus so on so you can see that we have expanded the cos z function as the infinite series of z minus pi by 4 and its powers so this is a taylor series expansion okay because a positive power series okay now if take uh, another example here say we have to expand the function 1 over z minus 1 z minus 2 in the region mode z less than 1 okay so first you plot this region uh, mode z less than 1 means uh, mode z less than 1 means uh, uh, disk with the center or region and radius less than 1 okay so let us draw a circle at uh, center region and radius 1 first okay so here's the center or region and radius 1 this circle so the mod z less than 1 means the region inside this circle okay the second thing is that you calculate what are the singularities of this function okay so the function is uh, not analytic at the point z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 because they polynomial by polynomial so only points where the denominator becomes 0 so z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 are the singular points so locate those points here so z is equal to 1 is here and z is equal to outside is further outside okay so z is equal to 2 will be on this side okay so that is outside the circle and uh, z is equal to 1 is on this circle but because the region has this strict inequality so this point on points on the circle are not part of the region okay so both the singularities are outside the region that means this function fc is analytic everywhere inside this circle okay so in this region mode z less than one this function is analytic everywhere okay so we can have a taylor series expansion of this okay so i'll just read at this that it is analytic everywhere except at one and two and so function is analytic in this region because both the singularities are outside this region okay now how to calculate the taylor series uh, uh, one way is that you calculate the function value at uh, z zero we are going to expand about origin so in powers of z so z naught is zero here so you can calculate function value at zero first derivative at zero second derivative at zero and so on, okay? and uh, the, now we are going to take another way 
so uh, given this function fz is 1 by z minus 1 z minus 2 we can use uh, partial fraction to separate the function as 1 by z minus 2 minus 1 by z minus 1 okay so the partial fraction is used here and uh, then we will uh, use binomial okay so uh, given that uh, mode z is less than 1 okay so immediately uh, uh, here I have to write it as 1 minus z so that uh, the z is less than 1 so we can take minus 1 common and uh, for z minus 2 okay uh, because uh, mode z is less than 1 so 1 and 1 is less than 2 so you can easily see if we divide with 2 that modulus of z by 2 is less than 1 okay so modulus of z by 2 is less than 1 so I can take minus 2 common from here okay so I can rewrite uh, by taking minus 2 common from here and minus 1 common from here so that I can rewrite this in this form where this second part z by 2 its modulus is less than 1 and here the modulus of z is also less than 1 so in the first case and also in the second case we can apply binomial so we'll take it these to the numerator and on this we can apply binomial and also on this we can apply binomial okay remember we are expanding in powers of z so we have to use z here Okay, and not any z minus z naught. Okay, and uh, so we can apply binomial now. So it will be one plus z by two plus z square by four plus one. Okay, and here it is one plus z plus z square plus z cube plus one. Okay, so immediately we have on applying binomial on the first part and binomial on the second part, and then we can combine the terms of same power. Okay, so the constant, the z terms, the z square terms, and so on. So it will become a Taylor series expansion about origin okay so in powers of c okay. so this is uh, uh, one of the easiest way that you write uh, function uh, using partial fraction and then use the given uh, region to and expand in binomial and this is easily applicable if you have a polynomial type function okay. say i take one more example and the function 1 over 4 minus 3z about z is equal to 1 plus i okay so uh, when we say about this then means this z is equal to z naught this is the center and uh, we have to take a radius up to some length where the series is uh, convergent and that will be the point uh, up to first singularity so first uh, we take the center 1 plus i okay so this 1 1 is will be the center of the circle and find out the singularities of these so these are polynomial by polynomial so singularity will be where denominator becomes zero so you can calculate z as 4 by 3 okay locate that point z as 4 by 3 and then for center this and radius up to 4 by 3 we can draw a circle okay so function is analytic everywhere except at 4 by 3 okay and uh, so function is analytic in the region this this is the region z minus 1 plus i less than 10 by 9 that means the circle with uh, disc with the center at 1 1 and radius 10 by 9 radius you can calculate because two points are known this is the 1 1 point this is the uh, 4 by 3 comma 0 point so we can calculate this distance and this distance is 10 by 9 okay so uh, because this function is analytic everywhere except at this point and this point is not part of the region because of strict inequality so we can expand in taylor series remember the center is also a point where function is analytic okay so uh, again uh, given this function uh, one way is that you calculate uh, all derivatives and uh, calculate the function value at uh, 1 comma 1 and then use a formula or a simple way is that uh, you uh, write this uh, because this is only one factor there is no need to use partial fraction there is only one fact linear factor in the denominator but we just need to rewrite this so that uh, we make it of the form z minus 1 plus i because we have to expand in the power series as z minus 1 plus i okay? so uh, rewrite this function okay? take uh, say minus 3 outside to write it as 1 over z minus 4 by 3 and then z is to be written as z minus 1 plus i so we add and subtract 1 plus i to write z minus 1 plus i plus 1 plus i which with minus 4 by 3 becomes 1 i minus 1 by 3 okay and uh, then uh, 
we have to use binomial on this so we have to take this to numerator and remember which factor is to be taken out this uh, you have two options either you have to take this factor out z minus 1 plus i or you have to take this factor out which is i minus 1 by 3 okay that depends on your region this is your region okay so uh, if i divide this by 10 by 9 then this divided by 10 by 9 modulus will be less than 1 okay so i have to take this factor in the denominator and this in the numerator to make this a modulus less than 1 okay so take i minus 1 by 3 outside and so i can write this as 1 plus z minus i plus 1 over i minus 1 by 3 and this whole inverse and because the modulus of this is less than 1 because the modulus of denominator is 10 by 9 okay then i can apply binomial result and expand it as a binomial so the outer function is uh, minus of 1 by 3i minus 1 this 3 cancels out and this will be 1 plus this thing plus its squared plus its cube and so on okay. so just rewriting and this is the Taylor series expansion of the function in powers of z minus 1 plus i z minus 1 plus i next term will be its cube and so on okay. so it's an infinite series expansion friends theorem suppose that a function fz is analytic inside and on the boundary of the ring shaped region r bounded by two concentric circles c1 and c2 of radii r1 and r2 with r1 greater than r2 having centered at a then for all z in r we have this series representation okay. this series the first part is uh, similar to uh, taylor series so it is a the positive power series with n 0 1 2 3 it is uh, z minus a raised to power 0 z minus c raised to power 1 2 so this sum is uh, uh, the taylor part plus uh, n is equal to 1 to infinity this is a negative power c so when n is 1 this is 1 by z minus c when n is 2 it is 1 by z minus a squared and so on okay so this is a positive power series is a negative power series uh, about z minus a okay where a is the center so suppose that uh, function fz is analytic inside and on the boundary of a ring shaped region r the region r is ring shaped with uh, bounded between two circles concentric circles with center a radius r1 this c1 inside this outer circle and outside this uh, c2 circle okay so the region is this region right bounded by two circles so in this region the function fz is uh, analytic and uh, if z is any point okay z is any point inside uh, the region bounded by these two concentric circles then uh, the function value at this point z can be written as an infinite sum in powers of z minus a where a is the center of these two concentric circles okay. and uh, this can be expanded uh, the series with n value 0 1 2 we can write it as a naught plus a1 z minus a plus a2 z minus a square plus so on a n times z minus a power n plus so on so this is the positive power series and for n 1 2 3 this part can be written as a of minus 1 z minus a inverse plus a of minus 2 z minus a power minus 2 plus so on this infinite series okay where uh, the coefficients a n and a minus n or this a naught a 1 a 2 a minus 1 a minus 2 they are given by these integrals 
where this positive power series the coefficient a n are given by 1 by 2 pi i integral f w over w minus a power n plus 1 dw with n varying from 0 1 2 okay, starting from 0 and this integral is over the outer circle c1 okay so the taylor series is due to the outer circle okay and the negative power series is because of the inner circle so it is the integral over the c2 1 by 2 pi i f w over w minus c power minus n plus 1 dw where n varies so as 1 2 3 4 so on okay so we'll uh, prove this result and to prove this result uh, let us uh, uh, construct a circle with center z so you can construct a small circle c with the center at z and call this circle sb and uh, some radius say r naught okay and uh, we'll just uh, come back to this okay so again uh, i'm saying that uh, consider a point z in the region r bounded by two concentric circles so this is the region okay bounded by two circles and in this region there is a point z and uh, say let uh, we draw a small circle this c1 this uh, small circle c centered at z then uh, by cauchy uh, integral theorem which says that the integral over outer circle is sum of integral over all inner uh, circles if they are disjoint okay so uh, the integral over c1 will be same as integral over c plus integral over c2 okay so integral over c1 of fw over w minus the dw is same as integral over c plus integral over c2 and because uh, the integral over c uh, the function fw is analytic it is already given and so this integrand fw over w minus z it is analytic everywhere except at w is equal to z so we can apply cauchy integral formula on uh, this part okay and by cauchy integral formula this will be 2 pi i times function value at z so it is 2 pi i times fz so we can calculate fz as this first minus the third integral so we can uh, uh, because fz is analytic in c so we can write this as 2 pi i fz and then if we substitute this as 2 pi i of fg here then fz can be calculated as 1 by 2 pi i this integral minus the last integral okay so we can easily write that the function fz is 1 by 2 pi i this integral over c1 plus integral over c2 the negative sign when we take this to other side is uh, utilized here the w minus z is written as z minus w okay to accommodate the negative sign now uh, we'll uh, uh, show that this uh, integral over c1 which is outer circle will produce the taylor series the positive power series and the integral over this c2 which is the inner circle will produce the negative power series so first for this uh, positive power series to be produced by this integral we will uh, assume that this point w lies on c1 okay so let us take that w is any point on this outer circle and if w is uh, any point say w is a point here can call it w then the distance of w from this center a is greater than this distance z from a okay so modulus of z minus a is less than modulus of w minus a okay so we will utilize similar to what we did in taylor's okay? so the when w lies on c1 the outer circle the distance of point z from a is less than distance of point w from a so if we divide with this then uh, z minus a over w minus a its modulus is less than 1 okay and now if i take 1 by w minus z and add and subtract a to this so w minus a minus z minus a and because this holds i can take w minus a common from here to write 1 by w minus a and then uh, 
take the rest part to numerator to write 1 minus c minus a over w minus a whole inverse and because the modulus of this is less than 1 we can apply binomial and so it will be 1 plus z minus a over w minus a plus its square plus its cube plus so on and then we multiply with 1 by w minus a inside to write this equation as 1 over w minus a plus z minus a over w minus a squared plus so on these in finite series. Now uh, if we multiply with the 1 by 2 pi i f w and integrate term by term by w with respect to w and remember w is a point on c1 then uh, we can write that this is 1 by 2 pi i f w over w minus a d w over c1 equal to 1 by 2 pi i f w over w minus a d w plus this z minus c is outside so z minus c over 2 pi i f w over w minus a square d w and so on infinite series. Now this left hand side is nothing but the first term in the uh, equation 1 on the right hand side first term. This is uh, what we said we will expand it as a Taylor series and uh, this we can write as a naught plus this uh, term as uh, a1 times z minus a. Okay? So this uh, whole term will be called a naught. Uh, this will be called uh, a1, a1 times z minus a. Okay? This will be called uh, a2 and so we'll have a2 times z minus a square plus on. Okay? So uh, immediately we write a naught plus a1 z minus a plus a2 z minus a square plus on. So this can be written as a sum a n z minus a power n where n varies from 0 to infinity where this a n or a naught a1 a2 they are nothing but these integrals so we can write a n is 1 by 2 pi i f w over w minus a power n plus 1 dw with n 0 1 2 so if n is 0 then this is f w over w minus a which is this integral a naught okay similarly for n 1 we will get a 1 which is this integral okay and so on. So uh, immediately we have that the first term on right hand side of equation 1 is nothing but an infinite series of positive powers of z minus a okay? where a in coefficients can be calculated from the integral over the outer circle c1. Now again uh, for the second part uh, let us uh, take that w lies on the inner circle c2. So when w lies on the inner circle c2 then z is a point in region between c1 and c2 so modulus of z minus a the distance of z from a will be greater than distance from w from a okay so now we can divide with z minus a to write that w minus a over z minus a this modulus is less than 1 again now if i calculate uh, 1 by w, z minus w then uh, if i add a and subtract a then uh, it will 1 by z minus a minus w minus a and because of this inequality i will take z minus a outside to write it as 1 minus w minus a over z minus a and take it to inverse and because this quantity modulus is less than 1 from here so uh, we can expand it in binomial and uh, so uh, when we multiply with 1 by 2 pi i f w on both sides and integrate over w and remember now that w lies on c2 so integrals are over c2 so 1 by 2 pi i integral of f w over z minus w dw is equal to 1 by 2 pi i 1 by z minus a is also outside integral of f w dw plus from second term 1 by z minus a square outside and integration of w minus a into f w dw plus so on this is infinite series now this on the left hand side is uh, the second term of equation 1 okay so uh, this uh, we said we will uh, expand it in uh, negative powers of z minus a so you can see that negative powers of z minus a are already there so this is 1 by z minus a into a of minus 1 plus 1 by z minus a square into a of minus 2 okay and 1 by z minus a cube a of minus 3 plus so on okay so we can easily write this as a minus 1 z minus a inverse a minus 2 z minus a minus 2 and so on so infinite series of negative powers of z minus a with the coefficient a minus 1 a minus 2 a minus 3 a minus n they are nothing but integrals from here which can be written as 1 by 2 pi i f w over w minus a minus n plus 1 dw okay. so 
Once we substitute this and the previous result in equation 1, we have the Lorentz series expansion proved. Okay. So, Lorentz series expansion we can calculate uh, uh, when region is bounded by two concentric circles and if uh, the inner circle radius is 10 to 0, so that can be a point okay, at the center. Okay. So, we'll take example say. Uh, find the Lorentz expansion of this function in the region this okay so this region is actually uh, bounded by two concentric circles one of the uh, circle is with center minus 2 and radius 3 units and uh, other circle is with center minus 2 and radius 5 units so the first step should be to uh, plot this okay plot uh, the circles with center minus 2 and radius 3 and radius 5 okay so if we plot circle with the center at minus 2 radius 3 units okay and cir circle with center at minus 2 and radius 5 units okay so 5 units is distance of outer circle from here and 3 units is the distance of inner circle from here and then uh, locate the points uh, at which the function is not analytic the singular points of this because it is a polynomial by polynomial so singular points are those where denominator becomes 0 okay so z is equal to 1 z is equal to 3 and z is equal to minus 2 so locate those three points so z is equal to minus 2 is the center z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 3 so these two points are on the circles okay and uh, because the region is uh, bounded by these two concentric circles and there is a strict inequality so the points on the circle are not part of the region so region is the region bounded here okay so uh, this is the region bounded by two concentric circles with center at minus 2 and radius 3 and radius 5 okay so we have to expand the function where z is any point in this region okay say uh, for example say i say that z here okay then uh, uh, we have to expand this function fz in powers of z plus 2 okay with center at minus 2 okay so how to do that we already said that uh, we can use partial fraction so if we use partial fraction on this function fz then uh, it will be some a over z minus 1 plus b over z minus 3 plus z o, uh, plus c over z plus 2 and the constant a b c can be calculated using the equality i hope you all know how to use partial fraction so uh, if i use partial fraction on this then easily i can write this as a constant time over z minus 1 and that constant in this case is 1 Similarly, plus b times this over this, so b is minus 1 and plus c over z plus 2 where c is 1, okay. So, uh, I have already calculated and the written partial fraction, you can calculate and see if this is true. The next step is that uh, we have to uh, expand the function, this function in powers of uh, infinite series as power of z plus 2, okay. And you can see that uh, the third term here is already... Uh, in power of z plus 2 okay so there is no need to do anything with this term it will remain as it is only these two terms which are uh, in power z minus 1 and z minus 3 we have to uh, change them to z plus 2 power okay so i will rewrite this as 1 over z minus 1 so i will add plus 2 and subtract 2 and uh, so i can write it as z plus 2 minus 3 Similarly, I will add 2 and subtract 2 here, so I can write it as z plus 2 minus 5. Okay. So that uh, now I have uh, z plus 2 here with uh, minus some constant, z plus 2 here, some constant. And this is already in z plus 2, so nothing is to be done with this term. Okay. So now uh, this term is uh, uh, having z plus 2 minus 3, and 3 is the inner circle right inner circle radius so this i'm sure this will give us a, a negative power series and uh, this is 1 by z plus 2 minus 5 and 5 is the radial of outer circle so i'm sure that this will give us a uh, positive power series okay so in this we have to take z plus 2 outside and in this we have to take minus 5 outside okay 
this you can also uh, see I have taken z plus 2 outside then it will become 1 over 1 minus 3 by z plus 2 and then I take it to numerator right inverse similarly here minus 5 taken outside so it will be 1 minus z plus 2 by 5 and then taken to numerator right in inverse and this term is not touched okay, it remains that easy again you can take that binomial is uh, if I apply binomial then binomial should be applicable only if this is less than 1 modulus of this okay so if you check the modulus of this then 3 over z plus 2 modulus is less than 1 is it true okay see from here uh, remove this see from here that uh, uh, the inner circle if I divide with modulus of z plus 2 then it will be 3 over modulus of z plus 2 which is less than 1 okay so immediately this satisfies the inequality that the modulus of this quantity is less than 1 okay so binomial is applicable similarly z plus 2 by 5 is the modulus of this less than 1 again we can check from here from the outer circle if I consider this side then if I divide with 5 then modulus of z plus 2 by 5 is less than 1 okay so obviously this is also satisfied so binomial can be applied on this as well as we can apply binomial on this side okay so then uh, this will be 1 plus 3 by z plus 2 plus 3 square by z plus 2 square plus so on and on this also 1 plus z plus 2 by 5 plus z plus 2 by 5 whole square plus so on okay so we can expand in binomial and then uh, we have the infinite series which is, uh, contains the positive terms and uh, the negative powers okay so this whole series is written in powers of z plus 2 okay so every term contains is of the form z plus 2 some powers are positive 1 2 so on and some powers are negative so that's the Taylor series part and is the negative series part okay uh, so this is uh, the Lorentz series expansion and I take one more example to show you that uh, how many Lorentz series are possible uh, if we expand a function about its singular points okay so uh, if we uh, I'm saying that we have to expand this about its singular points then uh, uh, Say how many singular points are there? It is a polynomial by polynomial So the if I put denominator equal to 0 that will give me the singular point So the singular points are z is equal to 0 and z square minus 9 equal to 0 which gives z is equal to plus 3 and minus 3 okay. So z is equal to 0, 3 and minus 3 are the singularities of this function and uh, so if I have to expand in powers of z or in powers of z minus 3 or in powers of z plus 3 then uh, how many different types of Lorentz series are possible it depends on how many different regions we can construct okay let us first show uh, if I take uh, origin as center and uh, uh, on the xy plane if I draw these three singularities and then with center at origin how many circles are possible okay so with the center at origin and uh, the other two singularities if I construct a radius of three units okay so it will contain on the boundary both the singularities at 3 and minus 3 so the re there are two regions here one region is uh, the region inside this circle okay so that region is this region with center origin and radius less than 3 and obviously the uh, center is not part of the region because the center is also a singular point and the other region is the region which is outside okay? this this uh, outside region so this is uh, written as uh, modulus of z greater than 3 okay? so uh, about origin or in powers of z we can expand this function and find two different uh, Lorentz series expansion one if the region is 0 less than mod z less than 3 and 
the other Lorentz series if modulus of z is greater than 3. Similarly, if I uh, want to expand this function in a Lorentz series expansion about uh, the point z is equal to 3, so with the center at 3, how many different regions we can create. So with the center at 3, and the other two singularities are 0 and minus 3. So with center at 3, I can draw a circle such that the first singularity lies on it. And then I can draw another circle with such that the second singularity lies on the second circle. Similarly, if you have another singularity, you can draw a third circle. Then how many regions are there? One region is this inside uh, the circle with the radius 3 units and uh, the center z is equal to 3 not part of it the second is between two concentric circles and third is outside the circle of radius 6 units so one of the region is this okay. in this region the equation is uh, 0 less than modulus of z minus 3 less than 3 so center at 3, the center is not part and uh, radius less than 3. Okay. The second region is between two concentric circles. So uh, z minus 3 modulus center 3 and radius between 3 to 6. So region bounded between uh, circles of radius 3 and 6. And third region is outside the outer circle. So that's modulus of z minus 3 greater than 6. So they are three possible regions in this case where uh, the Lorentz series expansion can be done about the point 3 or in powers of z minus 3. Similarly, if I consider the third singularity z is equal to minus 3, then I can construct a circle of radius such that zero singularity lies on it and I can construct another circle such that the three singularity value at 3 lies on that circle. So again, there are uh, three regions one is this okay the other is between two concentric circles this region and third one is the region which is outside so we can also write this as zero less than modulus z plus three less than three so circle with center three radius less than three and the center is not part and uh, the region with center minus three and radius between three and six and the region uh, with the center minus 3 and radius greater than 6. So we can expand uh, into three different types of Lorentz series using uh, powers of z plus 3 based on uh, this inequality or uh, this inequality or this inequality. Okay. So about its singular points, if we have to expand the function as a Lorentz series, then a total of 2 plus 3 plus 3 so total of 8 types of Lorentz series expansions are possible okay. so i'm leaving this as uh, an exercise to find uh, all these Lorentz series consider this region and expand this in power of z consider this region and expand this in power of z minus 3 and so on if you have any question you can write in the comment box do like and share these videos do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a good time.